Hello there Leo, welcome back to the Illus Illuminator. We are going to do your November reading for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in Leo. And let's see what is going on in your relationship. Alright, let's see. I could be talking to a cross watcher as well. Just be careful of how you you know interpret the energies. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started and see what is going on for Leo. Let's see. What are the messages for Leo coming from the past? What did you leave behind? Ooh, Queen of Swords, you guys. You are quite in a frozen element, so to speak. You may have been cutting off people, um, you know, asking. Perhaps there was like some kind of an argument or some kind of a disagreement where you felt like you had the need to, you know, speak your truth. So you spoke your truth. You may have cut some people off. Could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. But you questioned their loyalty is what I'm seeing here. You questioned their loyalty or someone may have been questioning your loyalty in a sense. But you seem to be very much in your power. You, you seem to be quite cold and detached from your emotions, making decisions based on logic instead of based on your emotions. All right, there might be a lot of facts that you are presenting to a situation or to a person, as in like, well, the facts are that you did this, this and that, and you did not, you know, you were not loyal, you were not holding your promises here because I got the dog card there. Ooh. And the magician in the reverse there might have been a lot of manipulation going on it could be you know um, some someone trying to change the words because we have both air energy here this is gemini energy so you know twisting the words all right so you may have been you may have been how do i say this you just called out on their bluff, all right? That's what I'm seeing. Or someone called you out on their bluff. Take it however it resonates. But someone may have been trying to twist their words towards you, all right? And you may have cut it off. With this Knight of Swords in the reverse, you're like, no, I'm not going to deal with that. I don't want any drama. I've seen through your disguise. I've seen through your manipulation. And I am making a very firm decision to not indulge in that or not entertain that, all right? So let's see what is going on, what are the messages for the other person. So you may have represented some facts about a lie, alright, someone may have definitely deceived you, twisted the energy and you called out on them, is what I'm seeing here, Leo. So let's see, what is the past energy for the other person? Five of Cups reverse and the Ten of Cups reverse and the Knight of Cups reverse. Yeah, like I said, someone someone here with this Knight of Cups as well in the reverse, they did not hold their promises, all right? They are still coming out of a period of regret. I feel like this person is very, you know, regretting the fact that they have manipulated you with their words. And I strongly get with the words. It's, it's, it's as if, like, you say something or they have said something and then the next week they, they're like, I did not, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, how... No, I did not say that and they missed like a very important information to tell you and now they feel their regret. Now they feel like, you know, there is a loss. It could be a family situation that you have been uh, involved in, all right? This person is very much unhappy in a situation, unhappy and trying to get over this regret, but I do get the sense that they are very regretful because whatever they promised here with the Knight of Cups, it was not long lasting, it was not genuine. That's what I'm seeing here. It was not genuine. And you, you called it out. Most definitely you called it out. And you cut the person out. So let's see what's your uh, present situation. Leo. Leo, Wheel of Fortune and the Temperance card. Wow, I love this energy. A lot of people are getting very, very positive energy in their current situation. This is you maintaining your balance. This is you making changes in your life, inward and outward. You know that you are protected. You're going through massive, massive change, which does require a lot of temperance, which does require a lot of patience from you. All right, it could be some kind of a reconciliation that is coming your way. It could be due to a 
it could definitely be a Sagittarius individual. All right, Sagittarius, I do also get Pisces, but there are, there are a lot of good changes coming your way and that's because you have been very, very patient in this situation and you did the right thing. That's what I'm seeing here. You did the right thing. You, you know, you maintained your calm. You did not get frustrated. You did not lash out. You did not get angry. You just, did what you needed to do for your highest good so with that you have learned a karmic lesson of doing the right thing and now things are going to change for you in your favor all right so you're making a lot of changes within yourself as well but also this is you trying to put things in alchemy so you're learning what you have been going through by these lies, deception, manipulative energy, where someone is trying to change their words or their promises, and like, no, I didn't, I did not make any promise to you. That kind of energy, you see right through that, and you're working on yourself. You're working on yourself internally. All right, seven of swords in the reverse. You, you definitely caught someone else, someone out there. I'm, I'm hearing Khalees caught out there. Most definitely. What is their energy, please? You definitely caught someone out there. Someone that was sneaky, someone that was not showing up as they presented themselves, all right? Six of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. Okay, we got two Sixes here. Could definitely be a Gemini individual with the two sixes here, or this is definitely the past returning to you. So in this retrograde, you are going to receive some kind of message from this individual uh, in order for you both to move forward, all right? This does remind me of some kind of a reconciliation, someone that wants to make up for a situation that went awfully wrong or just the fact that they have came to the realization that they made the wrong decision and now they're regretting about it because they're not happy they're not happy with the outcome of this situation all right and it depends on which spectrum you are because if you have been the one with you know manipulating some kind of a word situation that could mean that they are moving away from you. So take the energy as it resonates for you. But this may also be that someone wanted to be more receptive towards what you had to offer. And with the Six of Swords, it's kind of like, okay, well, where is where is the reciprocity? I'm going to move on. Or you may feel like that as well is what I'm getting here. So definitely see a lot of changes here going on and i feel like it is going to bring a lot of balance in the situation all right this person has some kind of an expectation from you is what i do get so take that however that fits you but i do sense that this person has some kind of an expectation from your end is what i'm seeing here you know, before it's completely done and over, there is something that they want to give you or there is something that you want to give them. So best believe that there is some kind of, I feel like there is going to be some come, come together because there is still some kind of an exchange that is needed, which is very faded. So perhaps you you are going to run into one another and there are things that both, both of you need to express to one another or will be expressing to one another. And this person will give you a gift, all right? I feel like there is definitely a gift from their end. So we got the Four of Cups in the reverse. So you feel like you've missed out a great opportunity with this individual, all right? You feel like you had a lot to offer to, to this individual, but they have been quite rejecting you in the past. And I feel like that's where the manipulation comes from, that rejection that you have experienced where someone made like a lot of false promises to you and then twisted the words and say like, no, that's not true. You know, I never said I could. You know, that kind of energy. And you feel like you have given it your all. It is a lot about the heart chakra. So within your heart, you feel like you have not been reciprocated like the person did not give you the energy back emotionally definitely and now they do want to come back around but maybe for you it could be a little bit too late that's what i'm also getting because you are now very much focused on your own independence your own uh, stability here all right and trying to create something within yourself trying to manage your own destiny create your own destiny and your abundance here 
definitely a lot of financial um, gains is what I'm also seeing, all right? You are very confident, so you're coming very much in your element of, you know, being very confident in knowing what you're doing, knowing where you're going in life, and you don't let anyone's opinion stop you in that, all right? You see yourself clearly as who you are in the, in the mirror, and that's someone that has a lot of uh, stamina, you know, like someone that has a lot of worth, all right? You, you know that you are worthy of whatever you have been inquiring from this individual. Yeah, see, there is definitely some kind of a manipulation, all right, here. Uh, I do get, again, in the blockage, the magician reverse. So someone could not manifest, or when... I do get the sense that someone lied to you, like purposely lied to you and then tried to twist it around. I'm going to keep on repeating to, on that. And that's perhaps why they want to come back around and, and have like some kind of an apology or give you some, some kind of a small gift of showing how much you do treasure, you know. So with the Knight of Wands in the reversed, this Nine of Wands in the reverse, it, it just talks to me as someone that was unable to make any moves, all right? They were not, they were not in a positive vibration when it comes to you, and they did not fight for this. They did not persevere to uh, keep you in their life or to show you that they were not manipulative, all right? So that's when you feel felt like you missed the boat with them because that, that may have been against your own moral beliefs, all right? Or you just expected that this person would fight for you or, you know, keep on working at it. But they, you know, their energy is fluctuated. all right? They, 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 they come and go as they please or they are just not stable in whatever they communicate. That's what I'm seeing. The communication has not been stable as well with the magician here in the reversed. So be careful because we are in a Mercury retrograde. So what I can, and a lot of uh, re uh, readings are getting the temperance card and the present energy. And I feel like, you know, so for some of you, you do need to close yourself off in this period of time. All right. And take a little bit, like, um, take everything that is happening. How do I say that? Like, I don't want to say don't take it serious, you, you should take it serious, but like don't dwell on it, like distance yourself from that energy and go inwards and start to reflect and meditate on all the things that have happened in the past because that's what is, that's what you actually need to do during the retrograde. So don't engage into this kind of energy where like, oh, you did wrong or you manipulated the situation, you this and that, that is just going to blow things out of proportion here. All right, so choose to do the right thing, and the right thing is to keep yourself balanced, protected, because the temperance card does talk about protection. So that also means that you need to uh, do a lot of affirmation or rituals to protect your energy from negative influences, because with the Wheel of Fortune, everything can come in and out of your life right now. Like, there could be a lot of energies that, uh, that are changing, and you need to stay true or close to your core. All right, so that's what I'm seeing here. So what is the hope for, for Leo, hopes for Leo? Ooh, you want someone to get off their, <laughs> Either get off their high horse or stop being so controlling. There could be a father figure as well, all right? You may have had a drift with a father figure, a very masculine figure, someone that was very, you know, emperor-ish or alpha type, all right? And you feel like you can now see through uh, to the manipulation and it's all about like maintaining the control in a situation. Now, this could be also your energy because you also have that, um, you know, fixed energy of like trying to possess uh, things or control things. So if, if you resonate with that, that's what you need to, you know, release and let go of your um, control or let go of your fear of losing control because 
if you fear to lose control then you don't give things all over to a flow all right so perhaps you already are aware of that and you're trying to work on it and if so it's a good thing that you're aware of it and you're trying to release that so take this period of time to really reflect on all of all the fragments in your life where you where you lost yourself by trying to control a situation or control an outcome you know what i mean so it just means with this with this temperance card and the wheel of fortune that you know things are changing and you need to go with the flow all right so do not keep too much um Pride as well, somewhere in the reverse could also talk about pride and ego, all right? Things that you need to uh, release is what I'm seeing. For some of you, you may want a either a father figure or a very alpha type of male to come back towards you, but you may be manifesting that from a lower vibration because this person is still not very... How do I say it? It's like they are still very controlling. So if you want this person back, you're going to have the exact same wheel of cycle that you have had in the past with this individual. So you should not even want a person that is of a low vibration of the emperor at this point. All right. So even though you love the person, it means that with the temperance card, you still need to be a little bit more patient and not accept anything less than what you deserve with this queen of swords and maintain your composure as in like well facts are that you try to manipulate the situation you control the situation and etc a a y and z right so don't wish for someone to come back around if they are in this low energy of trying to possess all right and sometimes it can be like a quite a disguise because you're like oh but that person cares for me that's why they want to control me no they need to come in 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 the highest vibration if not you should not want that person to come back so be careful of your own desires don't get in a lusty phase or seductive phase not in a in a sexual way or something but you know, sometimes our, our own desires can exceed what is good for us. You get what I mean? What is the hopes for the other person, please? Hopes for the other person. Well, they want to come back too. They want to come back around too. Ooh, look at that. So someone is about to confess all right they want to come forward and confess because they know very well that they've done something that was regretful all right they're still mourning about the situation or trying to get over the situation and they know that they need to admit something all right they they, they try to get away with something and you call their bluff so when you call their bluff that's when this person knows like okay i can't run away but then i'm just like a chicken you get what i mean like they cannot run away from their conscious mind and you call them out perhaps they did not admit on it but they do know that they need to come clean for their own guilty consciousness all right so they're gonna come back around and they want to you know they want your forgiveness and they want to come clean they want your forgiveness and they want to come clean All right, you got the two of pentacles and the four of wands here. So some of you are definitely not sure if you want to continue with this with this relationship, if you want to go through with it or not, if you want to maintain the stability or not. Like you're really weighing it up. Like at one part is saying yes, you know, and the other part is saying mm, I'm not sure. Yeah, see, we got the Seven of Cups here. So you're a bit confused. You're confused about which direction to go, all right? There might be a lot of uh, gossip as well that's going on. You may be a bit overwhelmed emotionally. Whether you should give this individual a chance or not, and even if it's not like that at this present moment, remember that these readings are for the whole month of November. So as we are in a Mercury retrograde, this person may definitely make a U-turn towards you and you may be the one that needs to decide whether you need to, whether you take the 
reconciliation or you change your, your your fate you change your destiny that's it feels like a very powerful energy that is going to come towards you and it might definitely be during the new moon of Sagittarius so because I do have the Sagittarian card here with the Jupiter card so with the new moon there things are going to be very clear for you so even though right now you may be a bit overwhelmed not knowing if you should trust individual or if it's going to be worthwhile to give it another opportunity but during the time of the new moon in Sagittarius you are going to find illumination about what to do so do not fret yourself about you know what to do just be Focusing on yourself, maintain your balance, be patient with yourself and with the progress because whatever you're going to decide after this new moon is going to be life changing for you. That's, that's very, very, um, yeah, eight of pentacles in reverse. You don't know if you want to work on it. You don't know if this person is going to keep their promise and keep on working on it because when the eight of pentacles is in the reverse someone may be trying to find a lot of excuses all right they might be trying to find a lot of excuses or be very busy or not being um, reachable all right whatever you need them so it's 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 that kind of energy where you need to decide whether whether that is going to change in the future or not so yeah Can you grow with this individual? Can you keep on investing in the situation? Will you get an investment back if you keep on going at it? Let's see, what is the fear? Wow, King of Cups. This individual does really love you, all right? They do, they do. Three of Cups reversed and the King of Cups. For some, they may, felt, they may feel like you have been in a third party situation and that could have been one of the reasons why they have been either testing you, holding back, or kind of been a bit emotionally manip manipulative, all right? They may have felt that you were gossiping about them and that could have been one of the reasons why they held back on sharing their thoughts and love towards you. So they are very fearful that someone will take advantage of them uh, or that you may be involved with someone else and because you have turned very cold here, right? So if you turn cold while this person is getting over a, over a situation that happened in the past that had a lot of regret around it, they may feel like you, you turned cold because you are already dealing with someone else. So that could have been the case and maybe that's why they went into the seven of swords kind of energy and cheated kind of behind your back and with cheating i don't always refer to you know cheating with a in the, with an individual and getting intimate cheating could also be that you you know you make a promise and you cheat on that you don't hold your promise that's that's for me you know as big as like you know cheating so, well, not as big, it's not as big, but it is very, very, it, it is morally high, right? So, yeah, this person does fear to come around to you because they know that they, then they need to express their inner emotions. They cannot run away anymore, all right? They cannot hide anymore. They cannot hide anymore. You might be dealing with a Capricorn because they have like hide and seek in their um, in their reading. So perhaps you need to watch that reading if you have that in your chart or dealing with a Capricorn. <clears throat> so let's see. Outside influence for you. Yeah. Wow. Three of Swords, Nine of Cups, and the Three of Cups. Let's see for them. Two of Wands, King of Swords reversed. Ay ay ay. Knight of Cups reversed. So a lot is going down here that has definitely also to do with other people that are involved or like I said, someone may be acting out of their desires and not out of their morality all right i keep on getting that moral ethic 
uh, situation coming up. So yes, my dear Leo, I am going to continue this reading. I hope this reading gave you all the clarity that you needed. I am going to check in the extended video what you both feel for one another and what the future energies are and advice is for you guys. So if you want to follow me, the link is down in the description box below this video. I hope I gave you enough clarity. So please share, subscribe and put, press the like button if this resonated with you. And I see you guys very, very soon. Sending you lots of blessings. Thank you and bye.